Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anush Vachel and I'm MBBS intern at GMC Nagpur and in this video I'll be talking to you about all the different tech that I use as a med student, as a doctor, as an intern and whatever tech that I use really simplifies my life quite a lot. I hope this video inspires you to earn some money of your own and buy whatever the tech that you need or want. I've worked really hard for the past four and a half year to earn whatever I've shown in this video. It is not a flex of any kind but I hope this serves as a motivation to you. I've divided this video into four categories, study, document, create and consume. Now let's first start with the study category. The number one most important device that I use every single day is my iPad. So the model is iPad Air 4 along with my Apple Pencil second generation and this is the thing which I've been using consistently for the five years and I can directly say you that it is the best purchase of my entire life. So I'll tell you why. As a med student I need three things which are very essential for me to have a device which will help me study. First of all it should have a good screen so that I can read any textbook that I want. I can download any textbook without having to worry that I phone to zoom zoom karke dekhna padega. Secondly I want it to have a good battery life that means I it should be reliable ki I'm taking it in my one shift of night duty and it should be able to survive that 12-13 hours if I'm using it continuously. And the third which I want is I want it to be portable. So if you go to any medical college, 8 out of 10 people will have some sort of a tablet with them, right? And out of these 8 people, I would say 6 people will definitely have an iPad. At least that's what the condition is in my GMC Nagpur. If you enter the library, go to desk, pe jao, sab log iPad leke ho ge. Now let me tell you what are the different uses that I use it for. Number one, I use it for watching the video lectures and solving the question back giving the test on Marrow because that is the application which I use for preparing for neat PG. The second thing is that I have to take down notes sometimes and I don't usually always have a textbook with me. At that times, iPad is my go-to device. And the third most important thing is that my iPad is able to store all the different books that I need in my MBBS journey at one place. So I think my iPad roughly has around 200 or 250 books at this point and all of these are textbooks which we use on a day-to-day -day basis in MBBS. And the best part is that using certain applications like Good Notes or Notability, you can just search in one second the entire library of all of those books for a particular chapter or a particular topic that you want. My sister was preparing for her MD pathology exams recently and we used to discuss certain topics. So I just used to type down okay hypersensitivity reactions and it would just give me the list of all the different books where hypersensitivity reaction is mentioned and just click that page number and it will automatically open that textbook. And along with my iPad the other device which I have bought is called as the Apple Pencil. Now the Apple Pencil is very very essential if you are getting yourself an iPad because the Apple Pencil allows you to write on it like it was textbook or paper and this would be your pen. The second generation Apple Pencil stays magnetically attached to the iPad so you don't really have to worry about the charging or losing the pencil and all of these features really make it an essential for anybody who is going to buy an iPad. By the way if you want to watch an iPad buying guide 2023 from me please pause this video right now go to the comments and type down I want to watch the iPad buying guide for myself. Moving on from the iPad and all of that the alternative of iPad that I could find on the market was Samsung Galaxy Tab but I have never used it to be able to comment on it Properly. Since we are talking quite a lot about tech in this video, I want you to know that with an increased screen time, your eyes are actually getting damaged because of the harmful light rays coming out of digital screens. And for the exact same reason, I use the screen protection eyewear for the last four and a half years. But I really wanted to upgrade, so I went to a local lens card outlet near my home and I was really, really impressed by the variety of designs they have, not just on the specs that I wanted, but also on other things like sunglasses, eyewear, colored and powered contact lenses. When I went in there, they were actually offering the free eye check. Up. That actually kind of shocked me because I found out I have minus 0.25 power in one eye. Why? And because of that I was able to select the correct lenses for my eyes. Every person that works hard for a particular goal is a hustler and I felt like the hustler range from lens cut really depicts that in person. These glasses which I bought from the hustler range are super comfortable, lightweight, durable that block up to 90% of the harmful digital light rays. And if you are somebody who has a long screen time, for example a video editing or just studying on your laptop or your iPad, a screen protection eyewear is a must for you. You can get up to 11 colors in the Hustler range starting at just Rs 999 as well as 60% off on other products using the code ICON. E Y E C O N. And the free eye checkup is totally worth it. Thank you so much, Lenscard, for supporting the channel. Now back to the video. The next purchase which I made for studies was something called as AirPods Pro. So, my AirPods Pro second generation, I think, were bought in 2022 of Holi. <laughs> Holi of 2022. And they are the best sounding earphones of all time. What makes it stand out in comparison to every other earphone or headphone that I have tried so far is the active noise cancellation which is the bot. So, just put on the earphones. Let's say that you're in a library. It's a little bit of noise. It's a little bit of noise. It's a little bit of noise in that airport and just turn on active noise cancellation and you will be like transported into a place with zero noise. Even if you are not playing any music, you can just put it on so that the noise cancellation is enabled. Of course, you can also put on some music while you're studying or most commonly which we do as students is we watch the lectures using that device. But of course, there are other alternatives
alternative headphones also in the market which you can consider to get for yourself if it is going totally out of budget the other thing of airpods which i really like is the battery life so i can re- i can comfortably rely on my airpods to have battery anytime that i pick them up because the battery life is constantly displayed on my phone as well because my phone is also connected to the airpods and also at the same time the charging time is very very less so you can charge it for just like 4 to 5 hours and the entire case will be charged and that case will last you for an entire week if you are using it lightly like me the third device on this list might surprise you but it's a printer so i actually bought a printer 2 years ago and the reason for buying that printer was because i was tired of going to that place and trying to get the prints in line mein khada or time lagao blah 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 so i just thought of buying a printer and bought it and i have printed almost 2000 pages since i've bo- first bought that printer and i'll tell you that till now i have only had to refill my ink tank just once so there are three types of printers which you can get there is the ink tank which i have there is the cartridge based uh, ink cartridge bolte hai shayad usko and lastly we've got the laser printers so for you guys i would say that go for if if you are buying a printer you can go for the ink tank ones because they last way way longer than the cartridge ones and laser ones to budget ke bahar hote usually so the main uses that you can have of a printer is first of all taking down any notes into paper that you have got the most recent example is for example i was studying psychiatry the other day and i wanted to have notes which were already made because i was not at all in a mood to take down notes i downloaded the revision notes of marrow and just printed out the 25 pages of psychiatry and there you go within 15 minutes i had the notebook ready and i could just start annotating it while reading so it makes it really convenient and if you want to print your ipad wala written notes into a form of a physical copy then you can do that as well using a printer the best advantage about the printer that i have the hp one is that it is wireless so i i you don't have to plug it into anything to be able to print i can print it from my phone from my laptop here from almost any device that i want to so that was the first phase of the video the second one is to document as you all know that i am a content creator by the way please subscribe if you are enjoying this video it would really really mean a lot to me so i really need to document a lot of things but apart from being a content creator i always love to document things before also so the go to thing which we all have is our phones so i use an iphone 14 pro and i have been using it since the last i think i guess 6 7 months and i use it to take a lot of photos take a lot of videos not just for my youtube channel but also for my own self and the reason is that these days which we are living the college life which we are living is never going to come back in our entire life so if you're a first year student watching this or if even if you're a 11th year student watching this take a lot of photos tumhare phone mein agar jagah nahi hai tumhare parents ke phone mein utha ke photos lo because these are the moments which you will really really miss when you grow up so documenting not just the purpose for publishing but also for the purpose that it's your life you can just go back to your memories and live the day which you had just taken the photograph the next device similar to this is the gopro so the gopro has been with me for all the trips that i've went to right from pune mahabaleshwar europe to nashik to all the places that i've been for the past one and a half year and I'll tell you that GoPro is the thing which you can rely on to take shots which are impossible to take. Let's say you want to take an underwater shot. iPhone is waterproof but mujhe wo test nahi karna hai, theek hai? So I put my GoPro inside and it gave me extremely good footages in Goa in different swimming pools in Pench. So whatever wherever we went, uh, GoPro mein leke jata hu. It's very convenient. It fits in your pocket and it is built specifically for taking high action shots. I can mount it on my car to have a good video. I can mount it on my cycle if I'm driving and I can also use it to film some videos for my channel. The last thing which I used to document is this amazing camera. It is a Sony Alpha 6400, and it is amazing. I use the 16-55 mm lens. Currently, I think this is shooting at 20 mm. Any mirrorless camera will take much, much more better photos and videos compared to your phones because camera's sensor is very big. The next chapter of this video is called as create. And by create, I basically mean to do the video work, the work behind the scenes for running this YouTube channel. So the first device is my laptop. So my laptop is MacBook Air M2 version, 15 inches, and this is very recently bought and. it's very fast it is much faster than my m1 macbook pro which i earlier had and it is able to render videos as fast as i want them to be so i would say that if you're a creator along with a student an ipad will get you through to most part of it but if you really want to expand okay you will definitely have to get uh, some sort of a laptop for you for example you can definitely shoot videos from your phone and edit them on your ipad because it's that powerful it can edit videos really really fast but if you really want to prepare spreadsheets if you want to prepare good scripts and if you really want to take meetings conduct everything you will definitely need the laptop because there are certain applications which work only on a laptop which are very difficult to run on an ipad so yes that was about my laptop Along with my laptop I also have my monitor which I don't really remember the name of I just know it's a Sony monitor and it's the curved one which I've been using since 2018 so yeah it's a very very old one and you can go back to videos and you'll find it on almost every video because it was always present in my room it really has to get a bigger screen to edit videos because chote screen pe kabhi kabhi difficult hota edit karna and the last chapter of this video is called as consuming consuming may just comes down to 
chill back relax and enjoy whatever other people have made for you for example watching this video watching netflix watching whatever you want so for that i use any of the devices which i have along with it i've got this amazing Sp spider-man speaker so sometimes i use that as well when i'm playing songs <laughs> and i very recently bought a playstation 5 the last game which i played was marvel spider-man 2 amazing game so i think yes this concludes almost all the tech which i had if you're a student and if you are wondering what all should you be getting i would say an ipad with an apple pencil should be your one of the most important things that you get bluetooth noise cancelling earphones are absolutely must if you are trying to be in a hostel and watch lectures and be productive because awaaz hai bahut jagah hogi so i really hope this video inspired you if it did please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and as always stay safe stay healthy and stay happy until next time i'll see you in the next one bye